Hello guys, what is up? In today's video, we are going to show you how to stream on Kick with OBS Studio. Now, um, <clears throat> I know we have a few shorter videos about like OBS and, and Kick and whatnot, but this is uh, start to finish how to set up your OBS, how to actually stream on Kick using OBS. So the very first thing you want to do is, of course, open OBS Studio on your PC. Make sure it is updated. And then after that, what you want to do is <clears throat> go to settings. This pop-up will appear, and here what you want to do is click on stream, here on this main menu on the right, left I mean, um, <clears throat> and you're going to see service, right? So what you want is click on this and click custom. So when you do custom, you're going to see server, you're going to see stream. Now, you, we need to have <clears throat> the URL for the server, and we need to have the stream key. So how do we do that? It's very easy. Uh, we need to get out of OBS for a bit go to kick now you need of course you need to have a kick account you need to have that account uh verified <clears throat> and once you have that uh, go to kick.com go to your upper right corner of the screen with your profile icon like this click on it a small pop-up will appear with channel creator dashboard subscription settings and logout what you want to do is go to settings once you click on settings what you want to do is again click on settings here on the left hand corner of the screen so when you click this you're going to see profile stream key security notifications what you want to do is click on stream key and here uh, you're going to see the stream url and the stream key now going back to obs studio like what i said server stream key so this is where you want to get the server is the stream url so what you want to do is uh, copy that like this so click on this it's, it says copy it on clipboard go back to obs click and paste there and then go back to kick copy the stream key like so it says click copy the clipboard again and again go back to obs and paste your new obs um kick stream key and then click apply click okay now <clears throat> that might be where the video ends if it's just like <clears throat> how to stream on obs but again we need to make sure that your parameters or settings is good to go again you go to your sources you need a display capture so that you can see um your the the, the well visuals right what you're streaming whether it's like I, uh, irl streaming you're walking around or you're playing a game you need a display capture after that you need an audio output capture which is what the viewers will hear um as you play the game or as you go around traveling right uh, audio output capture the same as desktop audio so you know, if this uh, comes up, just you know, just mute one and untick the other one. Audio input capture is your microphone. So if you go double click on this, you're gonna see the device. Uh, this is my microphone that I'm using. Uh, make sure that the, the mic you're using is the one that is uh, chosen here, right? <clears throat> now, after that, what you want to do next is go to settings again and go to output. Now, there are a few options, streaming, recording, audio, and replay buffer. We are just going to focus on streaming. Now, <clears throat> audio encoder, uh, this is as is, FFmpeg AAC, video encoder, NVIDIA, NVENC, H.264. Or if you're you're using integrated graphics, maybe you, you do the X264 uh, <clears throat> for your CPU. Uh, rescale is disabled because it's like a 20 by 1080. Uh, Rate control, CBR, bitrate 66,000 kbps, key frame interval, zero. You can go up to two, but I do zero. Preset, slow or good quality, P5, right? Tuning is high quality, multi-pass, two passes, quarter resolution. Profile is high. Make sure that cycle visual tuning is ticked. GPU, again, people, some some people do this too. I just go you know, zero. Max B frames is two. So that is for your output now. We need to make sure that all your audio is good as well. So as you can see, your general, you don't need to touch anything there. Global audio devices here, you only need to, you need desktop audio and you need mic slash auxiliary audio. Because again, going back to the audio that we did earlier, this is your for your headphones or your stereo or your speaker. And mic aux is for your microphone. All the other ones should be disabled. Unlock the power of artificial intelligence with Flicky AI. For a limited time, enjoy 10% off on their monthly plans. Revolutionize your workflow, streamline tasks, and boost productivity with Flicky AI. Don't miss out. Upgrade today and experience the future of automation. Link is on the description below.
After that, meters uh, decay rate is fast. Peak meter type is sample peak. Um, <clears throat> for advanced monitoring, uh, you don't really need to do anything. Audio speakers or audio. Uh, you can do uh, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> uh, take display, display windows audio ducking. Hotkeys, you don't need to do, about, do anything about it. After that, you go to video. Because you need, you need to make sure that your resolution or your canvas is the same. So best canvas is 1920 by 1080. Uh, <clears throat> the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. Uh, so it's ideal to have your base and your output uh, resolution the same. Well, as you can see, I'm at 920 by 1080. Some people might not have that luxury. But 1280 by 720 is still good. But <clears throat> in this day and age, most if not all people are using 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p uh poly right downscale filter um <clears throat> is resolutions match no downscaling required because again these two are uh the same uh, aspect ratio right and then common fps values this is your fps uh at the least 30 but the most ideal is 60 for for most people right so <clears throat> after that <clears throat> again double check everything right and again, I, I want to know that some people might like, oh, your streaming should be the same as the recording. Not, 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 not really the case. But again, make sure everything is here. Uh, again, to touch on the bitrate, 6K to 9K or 6K to 8K, is, KBPS is the sweet spot. But there are certain presets or settings that cater specifically and ideally to each platform. So <laughs> what settings you have for Twitch might not be the same for YouTube or Facebook. The same with Kick, but Kick most for the most part is pretty much a copy paste of Twitch. So it this whole thing works for that as well. Again, 6K if you can. But if you're using a budget PC, if it's not a high, you know, high quality gaming or streaming setup, uh 6K still is is still what you want. And by the way, you need to make sure that your internet connection is fast and consistent. If not fast, at least consistent so that you don't lag or DC or worse, you know, lose your internet connection. So <laughs> after that, what you want to do is you're ready, right? You, you can start streaming. Go back to kick, click the stream. So here, what you want to do is, you know, like you can start streaming on, on, on kick, right? Stream session, uh, stream preview. Feed. So you need all of this to be ticked, right? Hmm. And then all you need to do is click on start streaming and you're good to go. So that's pretty much it. That's the video. Hope you liked it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell icon. We'll see you on the next one.